Hi, this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledge Varsity and here we are discussing a problem related to the clean and dirty price of bond. And this is the topic from the financial markets and products. Even though most of the topics in bonds were in the valuation and risk model, but corporate bond was covered in markets and products. So let us see the uh, problem statement. The problem says that there is a $100 per corporate bond it is paying semi-annual coupon and the coupon rate is 6% per annum. The bond has 6 coupon payments remaining. So the bond will pay 6 more coupon and then it will mature. The current market rate is 7% and here you have to assume that the yield curve is flat. Okay. There are 80 days between the settlement date and the next coupon payment date. So 80 days are between the settlement date and coupon payment date. You have to compute the dirty price and the clean prices for the bond. Okay. So if you structure this timeline for this problem, so what you find is after 80 days, so this is a settlement date. So this is your settlement date. Okay. So after 80 days you will get coupon, then you will get coupon. How many coupons will get? We will get a total of six coupons. So one, two, three, four, five, six coupons will get. Okay. Now if you want to find out the price of this bond, so you will compute the present value. So the factors that you have to put is N, I by Y, PMT, FV. Right. So I by Y is the market rate. The market rate is 7 by 2 since it's a annual, semi-annual payment. So it will be 3.5. PMT the coupon is 6% so 6 by 2 is 3% of 100 comes to 3. The face value is 100 so that will become the future value. Now this problem can be solved by taking N as either 5 or 6. Okay. Let us see what most of the people think is let's say put N as 6. Okay. When you put N as 6 where you will get the pricing done? Please note that when you are putting N as 6, you are saying that okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 coupons are remaining. You will get the price done over here. That is the time of 180 day till the coupon. So from here you have 180 day to the coupon and you will get the price done. So you will compute the price over here. Please note that this is very, very important. Right. So we will plug the values in the calculator. We will put N as 6. We will put I by Y as 3.5. We will put PMT as 3 and face value as 100. And we will compute the present value. The present value of the bond comes as 97.337. So please note that the price will be 97.337. This is at this point so minus 100 days back so this is the price which is 100 days back okay what you need to find out we need to find out the settlement price which is over here that is your your price right you have to find out this price so how do you compute so what we have to do is we have to compound this so now we can draw another timeline and we can say that okay we are over here okay and this price is given at this point so there are a hundred days till here so we can find out this new price new price will be 97.337 into 1 plus R R is nothing but your I by Y which is 3.5 percent so I can write 1.035 to the power how many days hundred days out of total of how much total was 180 so this is the way you will compute the new price. So as per your calculator, what we'll do is we'll multiply this into this will multiply as so what we'll do is we'll store this. Okay, so let's store this. So just make sure that it is get, get, getting there. So what we'll do is 1.035 y to the power x so what we have is 100 by 180 so 100 divided by 180 right so this is the value into recall 1 
you will get 99.2139 so the new price is 99.2139 so this is your price okay now this includes please note that this is the price that you have obtained this includes the coupon also so this is your dirty price it includes the coupon also this is your dirty price what we'll do is we'll remove the coupon from here so what is the accrued coupon or accrued interest the accrued interest is given as coupon into days that have passed divided by total number of days okay in which the coupon was there so here for simplicity sake let's take this as 180 so the coupon is how much 3 days that have passed is 80 and sorry days that have passed is 100 okay because this is 100 days that have passed divided by total number of days is 180 so you will compute the accrued interest in this case the accrued interest comes over here as 3 into 100 by 100 divided by 180 so 1.667 so your 1.667 dollar is your accrued interest so your clean price would be given as this minus this so your 99.2139 minus 1.667 this is the clean price so this is one way to attack this problem okay now please note that we could have solved this problem by taking this n instead of 6 we could have taken as n as 5 and we could have solved the problem now when you are solving that with taking n as 5 what would happen is so we are over here 80 days remaining when you are taking n as 5 okay so n as 5 you will get the pricing so you will get the pricing done over here so this is where you get the price because from here if you count how many days are there 1 2 3 4 5 5 coupons are there from here if you count 1 2 3 4 5 coupons are remaining so you'll find out the price over here but please note that we are interested in finding out, out the price till this point so what you will do is you will put n equal to 5 and compute the PV so the PV is over here and then we have to discount till this but please note that here you will get one coupon also so whatever is your PV plus the coupon that you will discount over here and you will get the price so if you want to find out let us see what we'll do so we'll put n equal to 5 and compute the PV so the PV comes as 97.74 and in this if I add the coupon that we are generating at this point of time the coupon that we are generating is three dollar so the price comes as hundred point seven four two five so here the price will come the this plus this is hundred point seven four two five and then we have to discount it at one point zero three five so we have to divide it by 80 by 180 so let us do that so I will store this in 3 and then you have 1.035 y to the power x 80 divided by 180 so this will be the value so what we have to do is we have to take since I have to divide this by the, the value 100 so what I can do is I can store this in 4 and recall 3 divided by recall 4 I will get 99.2139 which is exactly the same that we got earlier also right so it doesn't matter which approach you are taking the dirty price will you the dirty price you will get is 99.2139 so this is how you should attack a problem which is on dirty price and clean price in the examination this is an important question please pay attention to this okay thanks a lot for watching this video this is ratan gupta from knowledge varsity